Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic, geometrical constructions. And for this particular subtopic, we'll be covering construction of angles using a ruler and a pair of compasses only. So we want to see how you can use a ruler and a pair of compasses only to help you construct a given angle. Previously, we did uh, um, construction of perpendicular lines and we were able to see how you can use a ruler and a pair of compasses only to help with constructing a perpendicular line. Now you want to see how you can still use the same tools to help with the construction of, 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 of angles. So how do you construct a given angle using a ruler and a pair of, a pair of compasses only? So we have uh, majorly the procedures and uh, how to do it. We, we're going to do a demonstration and uh, I really hope by the end of the lesson, you'll be able to construct an angle using a ruler and a pair of compasses only. And of course, at the end of this lesson, we'll be having some uh, questions in the form of assignment just to help you with practicing and to help you check on your understanding of the concept as we are going to discuss during this lesson. So uh, when you talk about construction of angles using a ruler and a pair of compasses only, it simply means that when, when uh, a question is asked in an exam and you are expected just to use a ruler and a pair of compasses only, you are not supposed to touch any other material or any other construction, construction device, maybe like a protractor or some other thing. So the examiner in that case, they expect you to use only the two items that have been mentioned. So, for example, in this case, we have mentioned uh, a ruler. So, so, in this case, we have a ruler. And then we have a pair of, a pair of compasses only. So, these are the only items that you are expected to, to use, you know, without any other one, you know. So, we expect to see you using a ruler and uh, sometimes uh, as, as students can be tempted to to you know try to be smarter than the, the examiner you know maybe the examiner is telling you use a ruler and a pair of compass and, and you, you can try to imagine that the examiner is not going to, will not be able to tell that possibly you didn't follow the instructions to the latter as, as as was given you know in the instruction part but it's very easy to tell for example if i tell you to use a ruler and a pair of and you end up using something like a protractor, um, I'll be able to tell, you know, because they are, they, are, they are what you call evidence or pieces of evidence that should be there. We normally give them in terms of marks, just like an arc, you know, I love to see some arc somewhere, another one there. Then I love to see an element of joining that, you know. So that must be uh, given as evidence, you know. Every time we ask you to use a ruler and a pair of compasses only, we must be able to see certain arcs like that one and then that one. Then maybe we have point A here. So you must see an element of VB, a line joining through the point of intersection that way. Maybe it could be maybe something like that. You know. So maybe this could be point A, this could be point B. So we are telling you construct an angle here, you know, construct an angle here using a ruler or a pair of compasses only. I love to see this axe. I'll have to see this arc here and I have to see the other one and I have to see an element of a line that is joining the two points. So when we give this, do not try to be smarter, you know, be smarter than the, the examiner. And we are telling you use a ruler, a pair of compasses only, and then you end up using maybe some other thing like a protractor or any other construction device. So to construct an angle which is equal to uh, a given angle, so this is where we are, uh, we are we are starting from. We want to see how you are able to construct another angle that is equal to another angle that is equal to this particular angle. How do you do it? How do you construct an angle which is equal to this particular angle that is given here? You know, the angle that, that is given here, you know, this one here. Using a ruler and a pair of compasses. And then somebody say, what if I just took a protractor and then I measured this? Of course, it will have to be somewhere else. Maybe that way. So we give you a line like line AB. Previously, we have talked about how to construct an, uh, a line. So already we have a line given. 
and then we are telling you construct maybe this could be r so we, we ask you in the exam construct an angle at a of course we have to give you the point construct an angle at a which is equal which is exactly equal to angle r a b using a ruler and a pair of compasses only by the way how are you going to do that because some would say what if i just measured this angle here using a protractor, then I realize it is maybe 50 degrees. Then I just constructed another angle here, which is equal to 50 degrees using a, a, a protractor. You know, in that case, you have failed the test. In as much as you have transferred the angle, but you haven't followed the instruction. Because you can see there is actual measurement using the protractor. But what was the instruction? Use a ruler and what? A pair of compasses only. So in that case, you have failed the test. And in as much as the answer is right, actually math, the method really matter a lot. You know, in mathematics, the method you use, how you are arriving at the final destination is very important. So when we tell you to use a ruler and a pair of compasses only, I was expecting to see an arc there and an arc there, and then you are joining there. Of course, you, you will not be able to fake. Like this one, I haven't used a, 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 a pair of compasses. And you'll be able to tell. If I've, I've used a pair of compasses, you'll be able to tell. They, the difference is that big, you know. So how do you do it? So to construct an angle which is equal to a given angle, uh, normally the other angle is supposed to be given. So we want to see the procedure. So we say the procedure is as followed, is as, as follows. So the procedure is here. So this one here is uh, a different, maybe this is Q, and then this is P. And let me call this, because this is R, let me call this one R prime. You see? Yes. So I want to transfer this angle here. Let me use a different. So I want to transfer this angle here to, to Q. This is not done. This is basically drawn to help you with illustration. It's not done. We're assuming it's not done completely. So what we have is this, you know? What you have is this. Even this other one is not there. So what is there is just a line this way. You know, so this is A, this is B, and this is R. And you want to transfer this angle to some other different angle. So that is the procedure that we we want to we want to follow. So what do you do? So what do you do? So what you do is uh, you start with uh, starting with A as the center and any radius. You know, I've, I've talked about radius for some time now. I, ho I hope now we understand what radius is all about. And I said radius, when you talk about radius with, within the context of geometry, it simply means the distance between the tip of the pencil that you're using to draw and the pair of compasses. I'm assuming that the pencil is mounted on the on the pair of compasses. So as you try to, to, to widen, you know, to... To widen the pair of compasses you know the, the space in between the tip of the pencil and the sharp end of the pair of compasses that's what we're calling the radius so that you can have maybe the sharp end mounted here and then you are making an arc you see that's what you're calling the radius because you can draw a circle as much as it's an arc so we call this the radius you know so that's what you mean by using a as the center that is where the, t the sharp end of the pair of compasses should be and at the center and any radius draw an arc to cut a r at x and a b at, at 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 y so this should be a b so this should be a b and then this should be a r so a b and a r at x and y so you can see our arc just make an arc that way it's cutting a b at that and it is cutting a r at that you can see so that is where you start from that is the starting point so the radius here is not important but now once i use the radius at 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 a now the same radius must be used here you now don't change the radius once you make that arc and you label this one x and you label this y you cannot now change the radius that is now what you'll use as you transfer that angle to this other end now with x, y as the radius, so this one will now be the radius, x, y. Okay. So
So x, y is the radius. I will use. So I will use Q as the center. And then you draw an arc. You see. So the same radius that I used on this other side, I will draw an arc on the other side. You just draw an arc that way, the other side, the same radius. But now, after that, I will now use this one here. Remember, I said I have used I've, 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 this is the center, I've drawn an arc that way, right? The same radius I will use to draw the arc on the other side. But now I will now change the center to x prime here. Then the radius now will be adjusted to mean x, y. You know, just make sure that your radius now, the distance between your pencil, the tip of your pencil, and the sharp end of the pair of compasses is here. So that this is your radius. You use x as the center and then you make an arc there. Remember, you already you made an arc, then you now make another arc there. Then now you will use this as the center Q and join to the point of intersection that way. This angle, if you measure it, it will be exactly the same as this other one. You see. That's what you call transferring an angle. Transferring an angle from yeah, from this to that. So just make an arc, the same radius, make an arc here. Now use this as the center. Then the radius will be this. Make an arc and then join this point to join it to that point of intersection. The angle here will be exactly equal to this other angle here. You see. So with x, y as radius and x prime as center, draw another arc to cut the first arc in two. Above at point y, you see this point is what you're calling point y prime. You see. Join A. Now this is supposed to be Q. Yes. To, to Y prime. So join Q to Y prime. You see now here. So the angle that you are looking for is the angle R prime Q P. That angle will be the same as angle R. Angle R A B. This one is A. Angle R A B. And that is basically how you do it. You know. So we have a few questions here to help you with illustration, to help you with the uh, practicing on what we've been uh, discussing. Otherwise, that is all for the lesson. Until next time.